Then we continue to lay out the base cabinet. Let's go to the auto cap drawing. Cabinet 4, 5, the width is 1000. And cabinet 5, it's a corner cabinet. From elevation A, we know it is a lazy Susan cabinet and the door wicks is 450. Go to the top view, click select by folder, we find the bulk door, choose the height 762, the depth 600, choose the width 1000, layout. And cabinet 5 is a lazy Susan basket corner. Lazy Susan, we choose X. Change the height and depth. Choose the wix. And top 2 means the wix of the top. Here 450 is correct. So we lay up. And between carcass 5 and 6, here has a gap. The gap is 110. So, what's the width of the filler? It's 110 or 90. So, to figure out this question, we look at this drawing. So, the gap between the two carcass is 110. But the figure here is 90. Figure. Change the bricks into 90. Layout. Click No. And cap next 6. It's a two drawer base cabinet. Cabinet A is the same as cabinet 6. And cabinet 7 is a stove cabinet. Drawer. Two drawers. High. 600 bricks layout and cabinet 7 x stove cabinet yes base stove cabinet basket change the height and depth to fix and we can copy cabinet 6 to here with cabinet A and there's a 90 gap between carcass A and carcass 9 so here the filler is 70 And then it's a sink carcass and it's a fly corner sink carcass. Let's look at the elevation C. It's double doors and the total width is 700. Then we find this cabinet. Sink corner this one click OK trace the height and depth then the width is 1350 so we use the bigger one to change into 1350 and then top 3 means the width of the door so from elevation C we know it's 700 
the layout. So <coughs> before we lay this unit, we know that here the sink cabinet extend 30 to the wall but from the drawing we know there's a 30 gap between Kark's 9 and the wall so we can here comes our attraction object in the first week's wall or objects is outside of kitchen to lay out we choose yes first and then we use the green arrow to move we choose this command and click the cabinet so here G means the green arrow B means the blue arrow so we go down 60 minus 60 then the gap between the carcass x between the carcass and the wall x 30 then we click apply and close and between cabinet 9 and cabinet 10 it's the this was a space here we can create a door cabinet first which the six x which will the wix x six hundred choose the wix we do a door cabinet here first and Cabinet 10 is a 450 door cabinet. And then M panel, or we call fade door. The depth is 640. It covers the door and the back fade door. Fade door. Base left side change the depth into 640 layout okay let's click the last view okay you can find that the fatal and filler it fixed aluminum edge band but we don't need the aluminum edge band so we can change the door shape choose the filler and fade door right click choose the door shape And how to create the back fade door? Okay, from the door menu, we click door and choose elastive door design. Yes, select the side to fix. Click OK. Choose this one, this, and this. And right click. Here we find that L means left, R means right, top and down. There's a 30 gap between the sink carcass and wall, so L here is minus 30. Right, zero, top zero, bottom zero. The cynic 20. Okay. And here we right click the door panel first. Left click, sorry, left click 
the top panel first and then right click then we can divide this fade up into four equal top panel click OK finish and then we change the door shape Okay, then we finish laying out the base cabinet. Now we can create the worktop and plates. So in the first place, we can use the auto create worktop or auto create prints first. And this is the shortcut for worktop and this is the shortcut for auto installing prints. So we click, create, click this shortcut command. <coughs> then the worktop is created. And we also can find the command in the worktop menu here. We have three ways to create the worktop. One is auto, two is the <coughs> select Unix to create worktop. And the survey is create worktop manually. Create manually, we can create any shape worktop. Let's go to the AutoCAD drawing. Look at elevation B. Here, the worktop overhand 280. And now, here it already overhand 30, so we still need to overhand 250. So how to? Click a worktop menu and click worktop edit. And select the worktop. <coughs> you choose the sole background. <coughs> the orange is the column object. Then we click the line from 0 to 7 and then right click select sign move here <coughs> 10 to 50 okay okay then the bottom top overhand to 80 from the back fade off and then we click the auto installing pricks. But in this way, we can find that there's some problem with the pricks. Normally, the pricks go inside <coughs> 30 from the carcass. So from door X50. But now the prints go outside, so it's not correct. How to fix it? We click A, we click the worktop menu and delete prints. Then we use the create prints manually. Then we draw the prints manually. We choose this area to make it bigger and select this pawn. X go back go up 30 because here has a 30 gap Y so here this point not include the fade off so Y flop it's the carcass point so go inside 30 then we can get the first point here Next pawn, x six pawn, and then x zero, y. This is the carcass. Then go up thirty. And this pawn, how to offset? Normally, 
in KD Max, the depth include the door. So why? It should go lap 50. But from the auto cap gel here, we know that there's a dispersed space here. If we go to lap 50 from the door, then we will see the foot of the dispersion. So here, we just go left from the cabinet 30. Choose this part. Then x minus 30 and y. This side, this side have no dispersion. So we do normally from the door 50. X 50, Y minus 50. And then this part, X 0, Y 0. And right click to X 6. Then we check the bottom elevation and the height of the planes. Okay, it's correct. Click OK. Then you can create the planes. You can check if you have the problem or not. Okay, it's correct. 